Hi, my name is Richard Finn. I am here at the beautiful Chinatown room at Body by Design. And today what I'd like to do is show you a nerve floss, something you can do for yourself to take care of any pain in your low back and even down on the thighs and legs. It's very effective for all those types of things. So this is something I do for myself if I'm having any sort of problem. And it's what I show patients how to do. And it will add to and help and be a part of whatever other treatments you get here at Body by Design. It doesn't matter what the treatment is. If you've got something going on in that lower body, then this will be a very good supplement to whatever other service we're giving you. So what I'd like to do is we're going to start off and we're going to show the flexibility of a couple of muscles in the core here. And then we're going to show how to do the nerve floss. And then we're going to show the effect of that nerve floss on those two motions. So with no further ado, come on back up. And I'd like you to lay down over here. And face your public. So what we're going to do, first of all, we have a muscle in the low back called the quadratus lumborum. It goes from the top of the pelvis up to your bottom rib. It has a couple of other uh, attachments there. But what it tends to do is pull your whole body down on one side. So if your body's being pulled down, that might be a problem. It can cause pain, tightening in the low back, pain over the hip over here, and into the butt. And so what we're going to do is check its flexibility by, in this side lying position, I'm going to go ahead and bring the arm back. We're going to set this down and relax that shoulder. Now, ideally, I'm going to stabilize here, and I'm going to put my hand on the shoulder. I want you to relax down here. When I bring this shoulder back, ideally, it's supposed to reach the back of the table. Okay, go ahead and relax, and let me bring it back. That is what we get. I don't know that we went back 10 degrees. That's just kind of sad. Okay. Now, the next one I want to do is we have a core muscle called the iliopsoas. It attaches to the front of the spine. It goes through the center of the belly here. Also, it comes off of the inside of the pelvis. And the two of them wrap around to attach to the back of the thigh. The test for this is going to be, I'm going to stabilize here going to hold the buttock region, and when I bring this thigh back, it's supposed to come back about 45 degrees. Let's see how we do here. This is neutral, and this is you. Neutral, you. Neutral, you. Okay, I don't know that we got a single degree out of that. That was just kind of sad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a little bit higher and try the same thing, and let's see. Now we get a little bit more motion out of her. We might get an inch or so. That's good to know. So, and that just shows different muscles that are tight in that region. That was testing, uh, ruling out another muscle that goes from the front and in front of the, the, uh, the trochanter here, where the hip joint is. All right, now to figure out what effect, if any, we can have on this by doing a nerve floss, I'm going to have you sit on the edge of the table here. I'd like you to come out as far on the edge as you can. Okay, there you go, fantastic. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to our knees, and the, this is the fun part now. We're gonna pull the knee back as we look up, and then bring it down, and keep this as a continuous motion. And I like to do 10 of these, so I'm at number three. This is number five, I'm moving on at a thunderous rate. But I want you to see what the timing of this is like. And again, if this is causing pain, you don't pull through pain. You just pull up to the very uh, point and then come back down. So that's enough on this side. We we'll let that down and get the other one. We want to do both sides. And here we go. So this is a very easy kind of thing. And I don't recommend that you always do both of the uh, techniques that I'm showing you, I do recommend doing both sides. But what I don't recommend is that when I show the next technique that you do both, you will just do one of these and you'll pick which one it is that you like to do the most. This is great when you've got a place to sit. 
I was not counting. I'm going to call that 10. The next thing we're going to do now is going to be a standing one. I'm going to demonstrate, and then I'll have you come over and do it. This is something that Bonnie Pruden, an exercise therapist uh, from the early 60s, used to teach. And she did this as a stretch for the hamstrings. This is actually a nerve floss for the low back because everything is stable from here to here. The only thing that's going to really be going to be moving is the, going to be the nerve in the low back. So what I do is I put my hands behind me, I'm holding like this. I could lock my thumbs if I wanted to. And then I bend over, but I lift my head up. Now at this point, I am gonna pulse. And I, what I like to do is I like to pulse for about eight pulses. And again, I'm not counting. After I've done that, I come to the side and I again pulse. And then I go to the other side to pulse. After I do that, I repeat. So pulse, mid center, left, right, repeat. Come on over and let's see what that looks like. And you've never done this before, so this will be really fun. I've done it lots of times. Okay, hands are behind. Come on down and get that head up. There you go. It's very light pulsing. And again, this is not to be a violent pulse. This is supposed to be a very gentle pulse. And it actually feels quite relaxing. You can feel the pull back in the back of the hamstrings and try it to the sides now. And again, she is doing this with like, like she's been doing it forever. This is like flawless technique over here. So this is looking really good. But again, I find that this is something I like to do at the gas station. If I've been traveling for a long time and I'm stuck in a car, I get out and I do this while the gas pump is running. That's, that's one of my favorite times. If I suddenly get a problem in the grocery store, I might even do this. I've, I've done this a number of ways. So it's just a very helpful thing. And if you are trapped at a chair at a desk and you need to get up and move around, this is a wonderful technique to do. So I try to integrate these. Fantastic. She did one. Now let's do that whole set, it, set again. We like to do them twice, so center, left, and right. And again, we're going to see what this, what effect this has. I'm expecting something to look really, really good at the end of this, and we will find that out. I have actually had a whole bunch of people that worked in a warehouse that started doing this every hour. They would stop and take a stretch break, and all the people on the dock would get out, and they would get out and do this particular motion, and then get back to work loading boxes on the back of the truck. Okay, the last one. Yay. And when you're done with that, we'll have you lay back down on the table. I'm going to go walk around the table. Okay, that was magnificent. Let's lay down and face your public and find out what on earth that may have done for you. And there she is. She's in the same position she was. Let me bring that arm back, relax that shoulder, and let's come back. Okay, not half bad, and I didn't do any body work. She did that for herself, okay? Now, I have no idea what this next one's gonna look like. We got essentially nothing in this position before, and now look what she's doing, okay? Wow. And we lifted up here and came back before, and now she can actually do the can-can. So, I completely recommend trying these nerve flosses for any time you've got low back pain, hip pain, thigh pain, leg pain, even foot pain, this will have some sort of an effect on whatever your problem is. At least that's been my experience. Thank you so much. Give us a call here at Body by Design if you need help. Thank you very much.